Hello Internet, my name is Aaron Garcia and this video is about Linza. I have 620 magic avatars that Linza has generated uh, through artificial intelligence and I'm going to show them to you. And this is what I really look like in real life so you get an idea of what I really look like and what Linza generates with artificial intelligence. I have 620 uh, different generations, I, I did like three packs. And I also got permission from my wife to run her photos into it. The way Linza works is you use 10 to 20 selfies, uh, preferably ones without uh, sunglasses or full body shots, you just kind of close up. And artificial intelligence analyzes your face and then generates art pieces and puts you in clothes you've never worn and places you've never been and uh, comes out with some pretty cool stuff. It also comes up with some goofy stuff as you'll see where it doesn't look like you at all. And it also makes you into a cartoon, you know, anime or action hero or space person, all kinds of stuff. They even have a holiday pack going on right now for Christmas. So if you want to have a nice Christmas avatar and uh, don't have a photographer to take photos of you, take a few selfies, throw it through this app, and you'll get a nice masterpiece or something strange, depending on how the AI does it. But um, I'm going to show you all those. It's going to take a bit. I'm going to kind of give you my reaction to all of them, the good, the bad, the ugly and the great. And then um, also I have a QR code so you can download the app uh, for iOS, Android. And I also have a recommendation for you, which is Grammarly. Grammarly is a great app that uses, uh, I don't know if it uses artificial intelligence, but it corrects your grammar for you. You can put it on your phone, you can put it on your Android device, and you can also put it on your computer. So when you're typing up reports or you're you know, just using everyday conversation, you can use good grammar. And that's great. So uh, I'm officially a Grammarly ambassador, really excited about that opportunity. Um, basically, I just tell the world about Grammarly and uh, they send me cool merch. That's how our uh, relationship is and it's really cool. And you get to be in a Slack channel too. Uh, if you would like to be a Grammarly ambassador and you're like, hey, I like to talk about Grammarly, uh, I'll leave a link also in the QR code so that you can uh, sign up and let them know that you love Grammarly. Well, let's get to it, let's take a look. And here's the first one. Uh, not sure what's going on in that one. Uh, okay, I'm, this is all right. Something going on in the background. So you can see it's doing the same thing over and over. Don't really like my eyes in this one. That sort of looks like me. Okay, so it's, it's doing... It, this kind of looks real. And we're starting to get a little better. I, I like this one. Ah, in a suit. Now that bow tie looks great. Uh, again, with the black and white, it gives me a cowboy hat. Now that's interesting. Uh, I liked this one, except the hat's kind of strange. Okay, headset. Nice. Not sure what in the world this is. Uh, looks like some foreign language at the top, like I'm in some kind of foreign film. Uh... Again, uh, oh, okay. Eyes are a little off. Not sure what's going on with the background. Got a bow tie. Very nice. Uh, okay. Like the hat. The hat looks good. Not sure what this is. Okay, that looks like me. It almost looks like they just took my photo and just moved it around. And this one looks like me. That one doesn't look so much like me, but I do like where they're going with it. Uh, artistic interpretation of me. Another artistic interpretation of me. Uh, that looks sort of like me. Ah, I like this one a lot. With the bow tie. Uh, okay. It's fine. Same thing. Uh... But these eh, more or less look like me, you know, just really up close. This is artistic, interesting. Um, mustache. Kind of cool, kind of interesting. Uh, different, but I like the bow tie. Also interesting. Ah, I like this one. This one looks pretty good, like a cartoon almost. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Looks like me, but wearing a green suit of some kind. 
and this doesn't look at, like me at all. And this is okay. Two of me, because why not? Uh, bow tie doesn't quite look like me in the West. Also with the Western theme. You can see that the AI is really liking that. Um, this is decent. Not sure what's going on at the top. I like this one. I would just like to blur out that little thing on my jacket. Uh, looks like I'm crying for some reason. Um, if I splattered paint all over my suit, this is what it would look like. Uh, still looks like the Western thing going on in the background. Okay. So I'm just, at this point, just scrolling through these. I'm not uh, going to use any of these, you know, it's my first thought. Uh, but not to worry, there are some good ones uh, down the path, which is I end up using. Uh, that one's okay. Um, most of these look kind of the same, they're just putting different backgrounds, distorting my eyes a bit. Um, and the interesting thing is that none of these photos are... Uh, actual photos of me i mean the ai is trying to oh that's that's cool except it's not me um yeah i'm not sure what's going on at the top this is interesting so i guess this is tells you how radically different uh, painters from the uh 1700s might have uh changed someone's face these are starting to look you know artistic they're starting to look like me but a little different i like this one that's okay. That looks good. Never wore that in my life. Um, yeah, going for a, a theme, I see. Uh, I don't really see myself using this one, but okay. Uh, that's interesting. You know, kind of artistic. So I'm, I'm really curious if I lived in the 1700s, what people would paint uh, me to look like. Hopefully not like this. Uh, too rounded. A little better, okay. Got my eyes down pretty good. Okay, I haven't really noticed this one. I was scrolling past that one. I'm just tired of seeing this particular pose over and over. I'm not sure what's going on with the teeth. Uh, I'm wearing a hat. Cool. Nice background. It's got me looking in different directions. Very nice. That shirt looks like something I had in my closet. So, you know, some of these look... I'm not sure what, what's going on there. Uh, okay, so they're doing the space theme now. Uh, not sure what country that's from. Starting to look like the United States of America in the bottom right. Okay, alright, I'm, I'm digging the background. The background's interesting. Uh, American flag, I can see it there. Too many stars, but okay. Uh, don't see my face at all, but alright. It's like they just plopped me into a NASA suit. Or a cosmonaut suit, not entirely sure which. And then we're in space, and I'm... Um, got a lot of hair. Okay, like if I'm drawn. Very nice. This is very interesting to see all the depictions of myself. The teeth are a little too narrow. I don't know, it doesn't quite look like me, but I, it looks like me. Now let me know in the comment section what you think, uh, if this really looks like me or not. Okay, well... Got thoughts about some of these. Kind of a narrow head there. I used this on my profile, that was the first one I used. It was interesting, I like the look. Now we're getting to some... Uh, more cartoon-like things um, that sort of resemble me. This one doesn't really. Uh, not really, no. You know, I guess if I was going for some kind of Xbox uh, avatar, if I was trying to be Darth Vader, it kind of looks like me. They got the eyebrows down. Um, not sure what, you know, no. Not at all. Okay, something random because just why not? Looks sort of like me. Okay, I'm 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 seeing it. Uh, kind of seeing it. Uh, don't know where they got their inspiration from. Uh, this one either. 
Um, not the right face. Still not the right face. Uh, don't know what's going on here. So as you can see, Linza generates all kinds of things. Oh, that's actually pretty decent right there. Uh, I know I'm flying through these, but there's 620 of them. Uh, okay, so some of these are looking like me, not sure what's going on in them, so they're kind of interesting. If I had a different hairstyle, maybe. Uh, if I point, put a bunch of paint on my face. Um, not sure what I'm holding. Not sure what's going on with my, my forehead. I mean, some of these are... random. But, they're, you know, the fa the likeness is decently uh, recognizable. Glasses. I like it. The glasses are nice. Uh, this is kind of cool. I I'm digging the side profile. It's getting a little more creative. It, it stretched out my neck for some reason. Um, not digging the stuff on the face. Just, it's just not my, my taste. But it's there. In case I wanted something random. And it's artistic. It's different, you know? Uh, it doesn't look like me at all. Okay. I, I, I recognize that it looks like me. Um, not sure what's going on. But uh, a lot of these I don't really know what's going on. And so if I can cut out the background or and the face is not full of random stuff, you know, I might use it. Uh... But it's interesting. It's just interesting to see what it comes up with. Um, it looks like I have two guitar necks there. I'm not sure what's going on. Random letters that look like a foreign language of some kind. I'm not sure what the AI is trying to do. Uh, three versions of me. And uh, you know, I'm really interested in what their in inspiration was for some of these. Um, Maybe they were paintings. Okay, that 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 looks pretty cool. Uh, not digging that one so much. I feel like I have, and this is the artifacts that uh, Linza warns about that there will be some random things just all over the place. Like you might have three legs, or you know, five arms. You know, just something random, or your face may not look quite right because the AI is just trying to piece things together and. Uh, Sometimes it doesn't really work out. Now it's trying different things with my hair. I can see. Uh, there's where I talk about has too many hands. Uh, doesn't really complete the guitar there. Or my face. Uh, this one's okay. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but... It's kind of getting into like a dreamlike thing. Yeah... I like the different styles that Linz is choosing to to draw with. I just want it to ha ah, there we go. Applause. There we go. That looks good. Okay. I don't really particularly care for these. You know, where you don't really see your face in them. This is not me at all. That's not me. Okay. I'm not sure if the hands. There we go. There we. That looks. That looks really good, actually. That looks good. Hey, if I was, you know, really working out, that would be me. If I were a superhero and had a mask on, I guess. Not sure what I'm putting in my nose, but it's a decent photo. Uh, you don't really see me in this one. And okay. All right, I'm not sure what I'm holding, like like some kind of life support thing. If I worked out at the gym, that's what I would try to aspire to. You don't really see me in this one. Uh, my face is wrong. Okay, an artistic interpretation of me. I, I recognize that's me. This one, uh, someone's working on the painting skills. I recognize that's me. Don't really like the look, but it's there. Hey, that's cool. Now that we're getting creative here. I, I like that one. Um, okay. Uh, very abstract. Uh, different. Uh, 
Okay, looks like I'm an inmate somewhere. Um, I'm on a spaceship. Uh, impressionist. Uh, okay. Not me. Not me at all. If I had bald hair, maybe? Bald head? Um, maybe when I'm older? That doesn't look like me at all. Uh, I don't think that's me, so... Just got a beard. I have three legs. There you go. There's the three leg one I told you about. Uh, okay. That looks like me. So you can see that some of these look good. They could work on the teeth a little bit. Uh, very impressionist. Uh, that one looks good. So there's some defin definite keepers in here. Uh, and some that, you know, you may not like because it's just a different uh, depiction of you. Uh, I can only imagine if I lived in 2,000 years ago and people were painting all kinds of things of me. Now that looks good. I really like that. I don't know what's going on with the outfit. Ah, that's better for the outfit. The face is okay. Um, but you can see that there is... Uh, it gives you a lot of options. And uh, I did three packs so I could, you know, really dig in and see what I really liked. Because some of them I liked, but not 100%. I was okay. I'm not sure what's going on with that thing coming out of the back of my head. And my eyes are weird. Eyes are closed. Uh, eyes are kind of lopsided. I'm in a beekeeper outfit or something. You know, I like it when it gets the eyes right. The eyebrows are pretty, pretty spot on artistic not sure that's me but you know some of these don't really resemble me so that one does that one's pretty good they get the eyebrows pretty good actually because I was I was comparing it to you know how my eyebrows look and it's it's nailing that and that's what really makes the photo for me um, growing up that wasn't my favorite feature but it does uh, there's a distinctive, you know, thing on my right eyebrow there. Teeth. Cannot stand those teeth. I don't know what's going on there. Can't really see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, but it, it really depicts you in a lot of different ways that uh, you're not used to seeing yourself. It's as if different cultures were painting me and uh, changing a few of my features. Um, it's kind of distorted. It has a real obsession with space. I guess that makes sense for artificial intelligence. Uh, okay. You know, uh, I guess I could see these as uh, some canvas art. Now, uh, Linza puts it out as a f uh, f 4K resolution, so about 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels, something like that. Um, so it's a decent re resolution. It does it in a square. All of them are squares, I guess, for Instagram. And it's a real uh, great campaign that they're doing to really grab attention. A lot of celebrities have been running their faces through here. That looks like NASA, like they messed up the NASA logo. Uh, if I was on the Apollo mission, maybe. Um, I, I feel like these are like foreign languages that they have written on the bottom. Uh, but, I mean, it, that's weird. Um, okay, that, I can dig that. Uh, but you can see that it, it does some interesting pieces, some hideous pieces, some pieces that are random, some that really look good, some that, yeah, they look real, but they don't, they're not very flattering, just like, you know, you take photos and not every photo is a flattering one. Um, some of these I, I can get behind with some modifications. Uh... I think it's really important that they do the astronaut thing of the American flag because uh, it's all about USA right here because that's where I live. Um, so depending where you live, it makes sense for them to do one that represented where you're from. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay. So uh, I'm furly. I, I, I can read that it says something. I might Google that and see what, what pops up and see what these are being sampled from. Uh, eyes are messed up in that one. So uh, one of the complaints the uh, artist community has is that these 
uh, renditions of your profile photo are pirated from actual works of art. And uh, I don't recognize any of these pieces of art, so that, therefore I'm not really offended by it. I, it doesn't, I think it's pretty cool, me personally. And a lot of people think it's cool. It's just see their face in different ways. And I, I hope that this little scuffle between the uh, our artist community and, uh, you know, uh, Linza, you know, it's resolved in a amicable way so that the rest of us can enjoy having works of art made for us like this. Um, because I think this is cool. I mean, before this, you had to commission someone to paint, and I'm sorry, no, not all of us can afford that. You know, only certain people can, and maybe you don't like what they come up with, and they spend a lot of time with it. This, you generate in a few minutes, 20 minutes it takes, and you get something you can throw up on your profile photo. And it's, and it's cool. Um, some of them are, anyway. Uh, a lot of these are okay. I, uh, they'll have to grow on me. Um... I'm smiling in that one. That's good. But as you can see, not all of them are... Oh, there we go. Now that's the one I'm going to choose for my profile photo. In fact, I'll take out the background and maybe put a... We'll put a background in, behind it. Here's some books. Um, and maybe my hometown, San Antonio. That's going to be my profile photo. That's perfect. Teeth. I don't like the teeth in this one. Uh... Looks like it says Honda, uh, which is interesting that it says that. Because um, I actually drive a Honda, and I uh, actually work at a Honda dealership. So, uh, interesting what it, what it picks up and what it does. Not sure what's going on here. That's really weird. That's distorted. That's oh weird, yeah. That could work. I could see me making some mods to this. This could work. Uh, this one, a little distorted. Um, so, for all these photos that you saw so far, I found one really glaring gem to me. Uh, a couple other ones that I, I'll look back at later that I really liked. You know, I've, I've clapped for a couple of these. Uh, but that one's distorted. I don't like that one. So, so some of these are just kind of weird or not quite finished or not quite right. Um, not entirely sure what it's doing, but it, it's uh, definitely a cool app. I think. Oh, here we get into the Christmas ones. So it's got the Santa hat down. Not sure about my face. The face is still a little bit off. The Christmas tree is good. Um, it's giving my beard some snow. I don't know why my eyes are closed in this one. Um, but interesting, yeah. That that looks kind of cool. Um, a young Santa Claus is what I think about some of these. Um, I'm gonna see if any of these are winners. Hmm. I mean, I could I could get kind of behind some of these. Uh, not as much as my favorite one so far. I'm not sure why my head is kind of all over the place there. The hat is interesting, like I'm um, Smokey the Bear or something. Uh, I'm a gnome. Uh, okay, what kind of rosy cheeks? So, you know, I don't know how you feel about these photos. I mean, they're not of you, but for me, some of them are like, eh, kind of not so great. But it, you really do this for that one gem that you, you know, like, yes, I get behind it, you know. Um, so earlier we just had it one that I'm going to use as my profile photo. You'll see it on my all my social media. I really liked it. And there's actually a few I really do like. Some of uh, with beards. I like the ones that has the beard, you know. There's a, you know, a few I'm, I'm going to have to cycle through them. So that, that's good that there's several. Uh, this is another pack I did. And... Uh, it's showing me as a rocker, I guess. You know, long hair. I don't have long hair. I never had, but that's interesting. That looks like me. I can get behind that. Uh, so some of these are starting to look like me as a painting, and I can get behind it. Mm, I'm not sure why I have a blue mustache. Um, some of these are very impressionist. Um, 
too wide. I'm very picky. I, I, I haven't had a lot of art done of me, so I'm kind of picky of what comes out. You know, if I were to have a, a piece commissioned, you know, the um, President of the United States usually has a uh, painting done for every first lady and the, and the president. And, you know, they don't really get to see sometimes what, what's going to come out, and that's going to hang in the White House forevermore. Uh, I can only imagine what I would think if I didn't like the piece of me that was forevermore. But, uh, you know, luckily I don't have any particular piece being made, and I don't have to worry about it being up forevermore. I'm just generating these, and I pick the ones I like. But I'm sharing all of them with you here, uh, so you can kind of see what gets generated out. That's okay. Um... You know, it, it takes a little bit to get used to seeing yourself depicted in interesting ways, and you're like, eh, I don't know. But it's all fun. We're doing this for YouTube, seeing what it comes out. Um, and it's just, you know, I don't know. Once you have this experience of seeing yourself in different uh, depictions, it is, it's kind of interesting. It, it, you see it for, like, King Arthur or, you know, some... You know, uh, even Jesus. You know, he come. If you look at all the pictures of Jesus, he's got different types. Um, you know, different ways of looking, but none of them really quite look the same. But you kind of know who it is. Um, but it'd be really interesting to know what what he really looked like compared to what you see. Uh, here's an experiment where I know what I look like, and you know what I look like because I showed you up front. And these are all the depictions. Uh, these are not by people, these are by an, uh, artificial intelligence. But you could see that depending on which image you uh, clinged onto, you would be surprised to see what I really looked like because some of these are drastically different, but they kind of all have the same, you know, character in mind, as you can see. You can tell it's me, but not all of them look um, the same. Yeah, if I was a pilot, uh, if I was Tiesto, <laughs> if I was Tiesto, he had the headphones, that's what made me think of Tiesto. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. Some of these are just downright, downright weird. I, I, well, that one's okay. As soon as I say one's weird, a, a good one comes up, and every, as soon as I say something is good, a weird one comes up. Um, and we're going through this. We're already 27 minutes into this. As you can see, uh, there's a lot to choose from, you know, and especially I did three packs, uh, got a lot to choose from here. Uh, I don't know what that is. And this is actually the first time I'm looking at all of them, uh, really closely because I kind of just scroll through and something screams to me and I pick on it and I'm like, oh, that's weird. No, I don't want that one. And I click another one and I say, okay, that works. And I edit it. Um, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing everything that was generated out. And uh, some of them are not as bad as I first thought. Some of them I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't really like it. But I felt like other people who ran their photos through the app, uh, I liked most, you know, all the ones that they posted. I was like, oh, those look really good. They look great. Um, but again, I think if it's you, you're going to be more critical of how you look. Um, so some folks might like these. I'm really curious if you would uh, comment in the comment section which ones at what times you thought were actually good photos. Uh, I'm curious to see because, you know, uh, I showed my wife and she picked some that I would have never have picked. And I was like, really? And she said, no, this looks great. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I picked stuff of her that she was like, eh. So, depends. I'd say if the majority of people like a particular photo of you, I guess you got to accept it. <laughs> Uh, and genuinely like it because some of these are t obviously terrible but um hmm a lot of space themes going on in here and that, that's fitting for artificial intelligence hey if I was a, like a Dragon Ball Z character that's what I that's what I thought hmm. I mean I used to wear my hair like that actually hmm It also shows all the potential for my hair. I mean, I could do a lot with my hair. Or I could wear a hat, do that quite a bit. Uh, different jackets. So I do see this as inspirational. I'm really curious what what they're sourcing for these hats. Now that A, 
That might be from a baseball team. I think it's distorting it. These are actually pretty good. So my overall uh, impression of the Linza app is that you know you're gonna pay, you know, from five to eight dollars uh, per pack that you do. I did three packs, and I'm showing you what three packs will get you uh, for me. And um, you know they're they're not bad. You know, not all of them are terrible. Some of them are not that that one wasn't too good. But you know, uh, you're gonna find some gems in here. And you know, you know, just because it generates it doesn't mean you have to use it. You just have to find one or a couple that you like, and it's you know, then it's a worthwhile pack. Uh, it'd be awesome if it generated like 200 hits, you know, that you absolutely loved. You know, but I, I would like to see a subscription service to this. Uh, also, I'd like to see it built into social media like Facebook or Twitter, so that you can. Uh, you know, upload your photos and have it generate something new for you all the time. I mean, I think that'd be kind of fun. It might be a little fad for a little bit. I, I like these better than actual photos in some some regards. The, the skin is a lot smoother. Um, So some of these are pretty cool. We're just kind of going through these and seeing what we've got. I don't know what inspiration they were using for that, but it was interesting. I mean, some of these I could reuse, even if they're not likenesses of me, like that one, uh, for something, an album cover or something. I, I'm curious to see, again, their original origin. Hmm. I don't particularly care for that one. Kind of spacey. So now we're getting to a territory where it's just throwing random stuff in your... Uh, I mean, this is not... I mean, you could just... Anybody could look like this. So there's really no reason for them to generate all these random things. Uh, I'm curious why it's generating these. But uh, the app, Linza, promises that every time you run your a pack, you buy a, a magic avatar pack, you're going to get something unique and new and you've never seen it before. It's not going to do any reruns. So uh, I, I did see some done of uh, my friends and I was like, man, I would love to do that particular, you know, design but that's going to be unique to them because that's their piece. And so I do really like that this is doing art for people. Um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this app, 100%. Uh, I know there's like that you know group of folks that are you know upset about it, and that's that's their beef, that's their perspective. But my perspective is this idea that you can put selfies up; it's going to generate art for you. I mean, where could you get that before? This is really revolutionary. Um, couldn't do that before. I mean, you'd have to go get a character done of you at, at a carnival, or you have to commission somebody to paint. And the only certain people got to have that privilege, and they certainly didn't have, you know, all these different versions to choose from. I, you know, I'm literally showing you 620 pieces of work uh, that was done in, I guess, less than an hour because it's 20 minutes a piece, you know, that it takes to, to process this. And uh, some of these are quite good. And the purpose for these, because they're all like in square, is to put on social media. That's the last one of me. Uh, I remember, well, no, that's, I think this is the last one of me. And so now we're going to go on next to Kara's avatars. Uh, thankful that she let me sh show these. I think all of them look really pretty. I mean, I like, well, this one has kind of strange eyes, but um, the majority of them look really good of my wife. 
Uh, some of them really don't resemble her. You know, like you can't really tell who this is, you know. But we're going to get closer. Like we're starting to get warmer with the face. There we go. You know, I, I that's starting to look like her. And there's one in here that's like startlingly, startlingly looks like her. Like it's just like, wow, you know, like that 100%. Um, right now we're still kind of in the cartoon phase where, it, you know, now we're getting warmer and, uh, getting warmer still. The face is not quite right, but it's, we're getting warmer. This one is a little off and we're getting closer and boom, this is the one I love. I mean, absolutely. It looks like her. I mean, just mirror image. And I was just, I was just blown away by these, like just how spot on they were. And it, it seems like the AI really likes this uh, particular uh, setting because it keeps doing the same thing over and over. And I, I actually enjoy all of them. They're all really good looking. I, I like this one too. Um, reminds me of the Taylor Swift album cover. And then we start getting into some kind of impressionist art, which they all look good as well. Um, fantastic. Oh. I mean, that's a, that's a profile photo if I ever saw one as a cartoon for Kara. I mean, these are these are really cool. And uh, Kara liked some of these. I, you know, she I know she's using this one on one of her profile uh, pictures right now. And I feel like this one kind of, sort of looks like her. But some of these, some of these are just a little bit off. Like you know, um, you know, again, it's, this. It, I know that's who that who it is. Like some of these, I know. Like that looks like you know, they kind of look like her, but impressionist, you know, very Picasso, all over the place. Some of these don't look like her at all, you know. But like, it's different seeing your photos and then seeing someone else's and then seeing if you, if you didn't tell them who who it was of, would you know who it is? You no. Know? Uh, some of these. Not so much, but you know, I feel like there was a few gems in here, and Carrie thought so too. Like I like this one; she liked it, I think. Um, that one definitely, you know, it's her. Uh, that one, I know it's her, even though it's you know kind of artistic. So some of these, you know, really you know stood out to us is that you know we know who it is, and she was able to use it as her profile photo, which was pretty cool. Uh, I know that's her, you know, but a lot really impressionist. This is artistic, you know. It looks like a painting. Um, but man, I, I I think you should really try out the Linza app. QR code on the side there on the left. Uh, you should definitely scan it, get it on iOS, get it on Android, and you can get results just like these. I mean, I want to see everybody else's uh, art pieces, you know, come out. I would love to throw uh, a, another video together with your uh, results if you want to send them over, uh, and I'll drop them in a video and we can react to them. Um, I think these are quite good, actually. Um, very nice. I, I liked this one. I really like this one. It, it's like a painting. I really like these. Um, I think I like paintings more than uh, some of the other random stuff that the generators do. I like these close-ups. I like that it's getting kind of uh, creative with these different uh, poses. Uh, so I'm, I'm really impressed by what the artificial intelligence decides to do. Uh, and I, I usually like other folks' uh, results than mine. Uh, that's why I did three different ones. I was like, yeah, let me see what I can come up with. And it may also have to do with the uh, photos that you put into it, like which ones you choose. Oh, I like that one. See, that's that's great. And I mean, I like these. These don't really necessarily look like her. I, I went through these with her. You know, um, not everything. I see. I like that one. I I don't know if she. I don't think she liked that one as much, but I liked it. You know, I was like, gamer girl, you know, if you were like, you know, played video games. She doesn't play video games, but if she did, uh, 
digging the multicolor thing going on here. Uh, so, some inspiration if she ever wanted to dye her hair different colors, but she's not going to. I know her too well. And now we're getting into kind of like a, like album cover stuff. You know, kind of interesting. And it's all about your taste too, what you think is, what is cool and you know, what's interesting. I mean, some of these I can tell, but not everything. You know, like this one, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Some kind of drawing. And I think it's just put it now. It's just putting random stuff. Now, yeah, I can, yeah, I can kind of tell that's Kara. You know, I can see it. Very, very interesting. Okay, this is like very impressionist. We don't even know what's going on. Well, that concludes my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're considering to download the Linza app, I've got the QR code on one of these sides and you can download the iOS version or the Android version. Again, recommend Grammarly. That's there too. And if you would like to be a Grammarly ambassador, I have a link there as well. So maybe you might be selected. Um, thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.